All right, so what I want to show you guys how to do is to convert your drawing to a 3D printable file. Okay, a 3D printable file format that we're worried about is called the .stl file. And we're going to save this file to a USB drive. So as you can see this image on the lower left hand part of the screen, you can see that we're going to turn an Autodesk Inventor drawing into what will eventually be the 3D printed part. We can do this with the print service. So now here we are with a drawing that we're ready to work with or ready to finish. Okay, so I'm going to go to file. I'm going to find print, but I'm not going to actually click on the print screen. I'm going to just keep my mouse over until I get this side menu here and I'm going to click send to 3D print service. After I do that, you'll see that export file type comes right up as the STL file. That's what we want, but we're not ready to click OK yet. First, what I want you guys to do is to go into options. First thing you want to do is make sure that your units are in millimeter. Sometimes they switch this to centimeter. Sometimes uh, it's on inches. So you want to make sure this says millimeter because our Lulzbot software uses millimeters. Also, our formats in binary. Now, when we come down here to resolution, you'll see that you have high, medium, low, custom, and breadth. We're going to select high. We would rather make the file format the best it could be and then reduce it later on in a 3D printing service. But we actually want to make sure we have the best file we could use. At that point, we click OK and then we click OK again. And what's going to pop up is save copy as. Now, as you've probably learned already, you know you have to change where you save something. And this is where the USB comes into play. So if we select this down menu for the USB, you're going to be looking for um, any kind of removable disk, uh, USB 2.0, or maybe you'll even have a name here. Okay, It should be in the E or the F slot. Double click that, and now you have open your USB drive. Now notice I created a folder in here. It says Mr. Lamana. Okay, what I want you to do is I want each group member to create a folder and title it their name. And that's very easy to do. If you look at this little uh, folder right here with a little asterisk next to it or star or something, I'm not really sure what that is, it says create new folder. If you select that, you can just type in your name. All right, and now you have a folder ready. All right, and here I can just double click that folder open and anything I put in there will be my files. This will allow the teacher to grade all of the work that you guys have, and it will also allow you to access your files whenever you need to. And then you can just change whatever you want your file to name and click Save. Now you guys are done.